open our Bible to the book of Leviticus 9. Leviticus 9. First sacrifices of Aaron and sons. First sacrifices of Aaron and sons. Leviticus 9 verses 1 to 21. The first offerings of Aaron for himself and the people. These many sacrifices which were all done away by the death of Christ teach us that our best our best our best services need washing in the blood in his blood and that the guilt of our best sacrifices needs to be done away by one more pure and more noble than they let us be thankful uh, that we have such a high priest. The priest uh, had not a day's respite from service a Lord. Yahweh's spiritual priests have a constant work uh, which the duty of every day requires. They that uh, would give up their account with joy must redeem time the glory of God appeared in the sight of the people and owned what they had done. We are not, we are not now to expect such appearances, but Yahweh draws near to those who draw near to him, and the offerings of faith are acceptable to him. Through so the sacrifices being spiritual, uh, that the tokens of the acceptance are spiritual likewise. When Aaron had done all that was to be done about the, the sacrifices, he lifted up his hands towards the people and blessed them. Aaron could but crave a blessing. Yahweh alone can command a blessing. What does it mean to give a sacrifice or priest? Let us talk of that term because that is what we do now. We are not only bound to make natural sacrifices, but sacrifice or priest. This is an expression that is biblical, that is in the scriptures. What does it mean to give a sacrifice or praise? Here is the scripture. The, the, the core scripture for that, I quote, Through Yahshua, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name, end of quote. This is Hebrews 13 verse 15, the core scripture, and we're going to pray exactly that uh, 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 that uh, 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 this verse we're going to pray about it. The term sacrifice, the terms, two terms, sacrifice and praise might, might seem to us to be opposite. We think of sacrifice as offering something that costs, that costs us a lot. Praise, on the other hand, sounds joyful uh, as it bubbles from the grateful heart. However, in the spiritual realm, sacrifice and praise are intertwined. Praise does not always cost us something. Uh, that is what we know. We praise our horse for its its swiftness in moving us fast. And we praise people for a job well done. Praise is often our response to some action that directly benefits us. And we feel generous because we extend it. We often find it easy to praise Yahweh from the same motivation. When he has blessed us, helped us, and protected us, we feel generous toward him. We can 
sing, worship, and talk about how good he is because we can see it, the goodness that he did to us. That kind of praise also, all, all, also, also worthwhile does not cost us does not cost us anything. It is not a sacrifice because it does not cost us anything. And then there are those times when Yahweh did not come through the way we thought he would. The medical condition is getting worse. The spouse wants a divorce. A child is wayward. The mortgage company calls in the loan. Yahweh seems very far away. And the praise is the last thing to bubble up from our hearts. We can't see his goodness. And circumstances show that he has forgotten us. To praise Yahweh in those times requires personal sacrifice. It takes an act of the will to lay our all on the altar before a God we don't understand. When we bring we bring a we bring a sacrifice of praise, we choose to believe that even though life is not going as we think it should, Yahweh is still good and can be trusted, as it is said in, in Psalm 135 verse 2 and Nahum 1 verse 7. When we choose to praise God in spite of the storms, He is honored and our faith grows deeper as it is said in Malachi 3 verses 13 to 17 and Job 13 verse 15. The command in Hebrew 13 verse 15 which we read says that this sacrifice is to be offered continually. Our praise of Yahweh is not to be based on our opinion of his job a performance. Praise cannot be treated as a reward. We, we reward that we give God for his obvious blessings. Isaiah 30, 29 verse 13. Isaiah 39 verse 20, 29 verse 13 says, I quote, These people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me, end of quote. Real praise continues regardless of circumstances. It flows continually from a worshipping heart in good times and bad, as it is said in Acts 16 verses 23 to 25. The sacrifice of praise comes from a humble heart that has been purified by fire. It arises from a spirit that has chosen to honor Yahweh in spite of the pain that life is causing. Psalm 51 verses 16 to 17 expresses this idea best when it says, I quote, You do not delight in sacrifice, or I would bring it you do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. You, God, will not despise. End of quote. Leviticus 9 verses 22 to 24. Moses and Aaron bless the people. Fire cometh upon the altar from Yahweh. When, when the solemnity was finished and the blessing pronounced, Yahweh testified his presence, his, his acceptance, his acceptance. There came a fire out from before Yahweh 
and consumed the sacrifice. This fire might justly have fastened upon the people and have consumed them from their sins. But it's consuming the sacrifice signified God's acceptance of it as an atonement for the sinner. This also was a figure of good things to come. The Spirit descended upon the apostles in fire and the descent of this holy fire into our souls to candle in them pious and devout affections toward Yahweh and such a holy zeal as burns up the flesh and the lust of it. It is a certain token of God's gracious acceptance of our persons and performance. Nothing goes to Yahweh but what comes from Him. We must have grace, that holy fire from the God of grace, else we cannot serve Him acceptably, as it is said in Hebrews 12 verse 28. The people were affected with this discovery of Yahweh's glory and grace. They received it with the highest joy, triumphing in the assurance given them that they had got near unto them. And with the lowest reverence, humbly, uh, humbly adoring the majesty of, of that God who vouchsafed thus to manifest himself to them. That is a sinful fear of God which drives us uh, from him. A gracious fear makes us bow before him. Know this, and the Lord Yahweh will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us say these prayer points. Let us pray for sacrifices of praise. Let us offer a sacrifice of praise, a sacrifice through Christ. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let us offer a sacrifice of praise, a continual offering. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let us offer a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that confess Christ's name. Thank you, Lord, all to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let us offer a sacrifice of praise, doing good and sharing with others. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Let us offer a sacrifice of praise, for with, with, with such sacrifices, Yahweh is pleased. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your word of wisdom, your word of teaching, your word of guidance, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual strengthening, spiritual growth, spiritual elevation. Thank you, Father Yahweh, that you heard our prayers. Thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayers. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray.